this video, we're going to go over some of the settings for some of the elements that you add to your Doodly videos. So the first thing we'll add is a character. Once a character is on the screen, we we'll want to click on the character. When we do that, it's going to bring up a few options here. You'll notice that this one allows you to flip the image horizontally. This one is going to allow you to bring forward the image or send backward the image. To show these, I'm going to bring on another character. I'll add another character to the screen. Let's say, for example, we wanted this character here to be behind the second image. So you notice this image here is in front of this image. But let's say we wanted to send this one behind that image. So what we'll do is we'll click on that image. And we'll click on Send Back. When we do that, you'll notice that his arm appears behind the other image. If we want to bring him back to the front, we'll click on Bring Forward. That's going to bring him in front of the other image. If we no longer want this image on the screen, we can click the Delete icon. That's going to remove the image. And of course, you're going to be notified to make sure that you do want to remove the image. Go ahead and click OK to re remove it. Next, we're going to click on this image here. And we're going to click on this little gear icon here. This is the settings icon. When we click this, we're going to be presented with several options. The first option is we can change the color of this specific object. You can do that by entering the hex code here, or you can simply drag the bars around and choose a color. I'm going to take this over to blue. And that looks good. Once finished, we'll just click off of the screen. And we'll click on apply and you notice that the character was then changed to blue. We can preview it by clicking preview and you'll notice that the element or the character in this case is drawn as blue. Let's go back into the settings icon. You'll notice there are a few other elements here. So there's an animation where we can enter and there's an animation for exiting. If the enter animation is set to draw that means that Doodly is going to hand draw the image in three seconds. You can increase or decrease this at any time. If we increase this to, let's say, four seconds, that simply means that Doodly is going to draw that image one second slower than it previously did. Take that back down to three seconds. If we change the draw animation type to none, that simply means that the image is going to appear immediately on the screen and it's not going to be drawn by Doodly. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And then we'll go ahead and preview this, and you'll notice that the image appears immediately. It was never drawn, there was no animation. We go back into the settings tab, change this back to draw. The exit animation allows you to do nothing, which means that after the specific slide is done, the image is more than likely going to slide off the screen. It's going to slide up, it's going to slide down, or slide to the right off the screen. It depends on the animation that you selected for your video. But if we select this to erase, what will happen is Doodly will use an eraser to erase the image. And you can set the time for this as well. So in this case, if it's set to three seconds, it will take Doodly three seconds to erase the image. So I'm going to set this to draw at three seconds and erase at three seconds. Click apply. Then I'm going to click preview. And you'll see that it takes three seconds to draw the image. And then you'll see it takes three seconds to erase the image. And those are the primary editing options for an object inside of Doodly. Thanks for watching.